All right, our first article comes from Cointelegraph via Martin Young. It says, Stellar partners with TAP USDC for remittances between Europe and Africa. The Stellar Development Foundation, SDF, has announced that it will facilitate a new remittance channel between Europe and Africa using the USDC coin. On October 25th, the SDF announced that global payments technology company Flutterwave will use the USD coin uh, on the Stellar network to simplify remittances between Africa and Europe. Flutterwave will work alongside Stellar's principal EU payments partner, Paris-based money transfer operator Tempo Payments. Our next article also coming from Cointelegraph. Uh, via Brian Quarmby. SEC expected to head U.S. stablecoin regulation and enforcement. The U.S. regulatory bodies have reportedly agreed that the Securities and Exchange Commission will lead the United States efforts to regulate the stablecoin sector. The sources add that the SEC's newfound significant authority over the sector will be formally announced in the Treasury Department's forthcoming stablecoin report that is scheduled to be published this week. The report will also clarify the regulatory jurisdiction of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission and Treasury Department with regard to stablecoins. Our next article comes from News BTC and uh, from Best OE. New Ethereum to Cardano Bridge will provide NFT creators eco-friendly options. In its announcement, Bondly says its official Ethereum to Cardano bridge will enable creators to choose a more eco-friendly blockchain for their NFTs. Creators are able to move their NFT creations from the Ethereum blockchain to the Cardano blockchain using this bridge. In terms of energy efficiency, the Cardano blockchain is 4 million times more efficient than Bitcoin. Ethereum is said to use the energy equivalent of Colombia, while Cardano's energy usage comes out to be equivalent to that of a family home, thereby providing a greener and eco-friendly network for creators who are worried about the environmental impacts of blockchain use. In addition to having their work on an eco-friendly blockchain, creators do not have to worry about the high fees that the Ethereum network has come to be known for. With the majority of NFT minting happening on Ethereum, the network fees have shot through the roof, leaving smaller creators who cannot afford these high fees out to dry. This is, however, not the case with Cardano. The network boasts of low fees for any transaction carried out on the blockchain. Additionally, the network also offers NFT creators price predictability and stable transaction costs, which will eliminate increasingly high fees and the fear of lost transactions due to not having enough gas fees to cover a transaction. The bridge is set to launch in 2022, and in celebration of its launch, Bondly will release a special series of eco-friendly NFT on the network. Harry Liu, CEO of Bondly, said, As one of the pioneers of the NFT movement, we continue to play a key role in building the infrastructure that will herald the next phase of NFT evolution. Next article, from Nam Sios. U.S. government to auction 4.94 Bitcoin worth over $300,000. The U.S. government is hosting Fall for Cryptocurrency, an online Bitcoin auction event between October 26th and 28th, 2021. Nearly five Bitcoin will be auctioned in five different lots. In April, the U.S. government sold 9.45 Bitcoin at a notable discount compared to market prices. U.S. government auctions are performed by GSA Auctions, a service of the United States General Service Administration that functions as the federal government's online clearinghouse for surplus, federally owned assets and equipment. Next article, Cointelegraph, brought to you by Sam Borgi. 
Matt Damon partners with Crypto.com around Clean Water Project. Digital Currency Exchange, Crypto.com has donated $1 million to Water.org, a clean water initiative co-founded by Matt Damon and Gary White in 2009. The direct donation will go towards supporting Water.org's mission of ending the global water crisis by providing safe water and sanitation to people in need. The companies announced Monday the partnership is also aimed at exposing Water.org to Crypto.com's more than 10 million users who are also being encouraged to donate to the project. This concludes our news for the day.